Hello and welcome back to Outer Worlds. So, we had our five minutes break in the ship. Time to head out and uh, hopefully actually open up the captain quarters so I can take a proper rest. So, Parvati? Oh, Lieutenant Mercer is still here. Um, okay. Private Kimbell. Rotters, deserters, illegal landing. Wait a second. Primal Brute. Is that a good idea to attack that? Might be not. <clears throat> Looks kind of tough. Uh, map? I don't think we can... Run. Uh, while we are watching the map. Am I just gonna take the same... Route, or maybe so. Actually, we have other uh, quests that we can complete uh, before we head out of town. Of course, we need to go back to town, <laughs> but that's fine. I might pick up the <clears throat> the extra run speed. I think that's gonna help quite a bit. At least with the uh, moving around. Probably not so much in combat. Hey, Miss Parvati. Oh, Silas? Is it? Not today. Just helping this lady. Oh, nice. I like this. Uh, Silas, so we still have... Lovely to see you about, Miss Parvati. Things going all right, Silas? Been keeping him careful and true, Miss. Oh, okay. yeah. What are you talking about, Silas? Best to ask her yourself. My dad's buried here. Silas watches over him when I get... When I can't leave the house. I'm sorry. Oh. Well, thanks. Something I can do for you? Uh, but you s about those fees you wanted? Yeah, I still got some uh, left to get. You run into any trouble? No, I'm still still waiting on it. Okay, whatever. <clears throat> so we need to finish the fees. Apparently I can yeah, I can highlight it with that. So this uh makes it the primary objective for now. And we might wanna uh just complete it. Yeah, just going to Edgewater. Help the chairman and Minister Clark. Wow. Looks like a Russian poster. Also the sun, that's more like a Chinese imagery. Maybe that. Uh, okay, apparently we might be able to find him there. Wait a second, what's this? Oh. Whoever we need to talk to about these fees, is to be either in well, yeah. The the quest thing he says that he is apparently here. Corporate trooper. Yeah, I did see some over here. But then I didn't come. Here. Parvati, what the hell are you doing? You're trying to get me busted? Owing to your ha hard work and positive attitude, I have sanctioned your access to medical treatment in the event of contagion. As you know, the company has not provided us with enough medicine to treat every worker. I wish I could treat every member of uh, the Spacer's Choice family who fell ill to this plague, but I cannot. Medical privileges are strictly merit-based. Please do not, under any circumstance, distribute your ration of medication to any other worker. We are all in this together. Doesn't sound like it. Ooh, hack, hack five. Continue. Theodore buried last night. Reed asked me not to report his death in our quarterlies. Sounds fair to me. Was asked to prepare a statement or something for the other workers. Been thinking about it. Don't know 
what to tell him. Don't end up like uh, Theodore. Do your work, show up, wear a smile, and you'll get your medical privileges. Isn't that a start? Yeah. I'm just taking that. Phyllis! Granger! Yeah, there's nothing else here. I knew this. You should really close the doors. Oh, we can pick that. Trespassing, lockpicking, hacking, and murder are all considered illegal activities and frowned upon by society. Avoid being seen if you want to engage in these activities without consequences. That was quick. Yeah, just keep quiet, but also don't close the flipping door. Makeshift low pressure suit. Is that good? That's that's better than what I got. So much better. <clears throat> from the above, uh, <clears throat> from the office of Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. Symptoms of infection have now reached a critical mass. I have instructed our staff to transform the old domicile into a sick house. Plague is a reality of life on the frontier. And as, a, and as spacers, we are expected to face up to reality. And the reality is that we do not carry enough medicine to treat, to treat all of you. Come on. <laughs> Uh, medical treatment is a privilege, not a right. We must strive every day to demonstrate our worthiness of that privilege. If you find yourself suffering the symptoms of a uh, incipient plague, the best thing you can do for yourself and for your family is to don your jumpers and come to work. Work fortifies the spirit. Physical illness recapitulates uh, spiritual weakness. Oh my god. Okay, return to root, exit. I wouldn't be surprised if they had plenty of medicine to treat everyone. Actually, that's what I would expect. And, uh... Maybe not, uh... Spread this plague on purpose. Maybe it's not intentional. But, uh... I don't know, who knows? It's just uh, speculation at this point. I kind of want that box. No! Oh. I can't climb up. Maybe this doesn't... Oh my god. Help me, Parvati! Can you get it instead of me? Obviously too clumsy. What? I did this for four credits? I hope I don't get caught. But I'm taking those four credits now. Alright. Let's talk to the guy. Wait. Oh, he didn't bail. You the new worker? Whatever. Yeah. Make it quick, tenderfoot. I'm busy. So... Gravesite. I'm guessing you're the foreman. Foreman Granger. Mind those words don't come out of your mouth unless preceded by yes or right away or thank you. Okay. Gravesite fees, I'm here to collect. <laughs> Shit. Silas still on about that. Here, take the fees. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Reed I was late on my payment. These papers aren't signed in your own name. Because they're not my fees and not my gravesite. Guy I worked with shot himself. I paid the bill. That's kind of you. I could do without the sarcasm. Wasn't acting out of the goodness of my heart. Law requires delinquent gravesite fees to be paid by the deceased party's closest living relative, which meant me. Shame, though. Eugene was a good worker. You said this guy shot himself? Woke up one morning and put a round through his upper story. Can't imagine why. The kid was doing all right at his desk. We all thought he was an upstanding receptionist. Just between the two of us, I'm pretty shocked his weapon didn't misfire. Spacer's choice handguns aren't the most reliable. How dare you! 
Must be tough losing family. Eugene wasn't family. I thought you said you were close. Yeah, I was the closest living person relative to his body at time of death. What? I'm the one who found him, you see, so I pay the fines. What the hell? Suicide's a crime. The legal term is irreparable damage to company property. What Eugene did to himself was vandalism. Can't be serious. I'm plenty serious. In fact, I'm a little upset Eugene didn't think things through. In other words, Edgewater would have been penalized pretty hard. Whatever Eugene was worth as an asset, we would have had to pay out of pocket to Spacer's choice. He was a person, not an asset. Well, excuse you. I'll have you know, Eugene was an asset to us all. May his atoms be commended to the law. All I know is Silas asked me for Eugene's gravesite fees, which means he was approved for burial, which means his papers went through, which means the town's in the clear. I'm just glad to put this whole ugly affair behind me. Eugene can rest his bones in peace, and the rest of us can get on with our own lives. All right. Wow. Even, like, this simple mission uh, tells you so much about the culture of this town. I'm really glad that Parvati is not like that, else I would find it really hard to... Uh, Keep her as a long-term companion, but I guess we'll get to know her more in time. So, journal. So Ludwig's fees are yet to be uh, collected, and if you look at the region, it's apparently over here. So we can head out, and we can, might as well do that right now, right? We can just head out of town, collect the fees, then we can just talk to the. Priest. Why not? Menti Queen examined. Oh, what is this? Can't pick that. Bread noodles. Sure. This is the dock, kind of. The space dock, for sure. What are we seeing here? So, a bunch of houses outside, but I strongly suspect that none of them can be entered. Landing pad discovered. I'm getting closer to level 3. When I was little, we'd get freighters in every Sunday noon. Now they only come but once a month. Oh, I love the wind here. <clears throat> Thank the law. I've been requisitioning backup for months. Guess the boss finally came to his senses. You ever swung a truncheon? Let me see your rifling stance. I want to make sure you're up to snuff. Yeah. Silas sent me. You owe him some, uh, gravesite fees. I told Silas I'd pay my dues if he agreed to join the resistance. Guess this means he's finally heard the calling. Yeah, I wouldn't really get your hopes up. No, my hopes up if I were you. Are you okay? You seem confused. I'm talking about mechanical soldier. Cold, heartless automatons made of iron and lies. Right. I don't know what you're talking about. Just my luck. I ask for backup and the boss sends me one of them simple folk. All right. Listen real close. Auto mechanical. <laughs> Creatures forged in the fires of malevolence. I seen them over by the old power plant. Clattering about. Firing at the birds. Orchestrating their uprising. When the swarms of mechanicals come clanging on over that hill, where will you be? Cowering beneath your cot? Or standing shoulder to shoulder with the resistance? Um, 
if your resistance needs another guy, I'll go higher. I've been gathering up a war chest over the years. Saw tuna cans mostly, some spacers chaw, a few bit cards. I'll reward you for your aid. Really? Proper armies pay enlistment fees. <laughs> enlistment fees? Yeah, I suppose. Wouldn't want to give the resistance a bad name. Oh. Wow, 75 bit cartridge? What do you need done? They have sent a scout prowling around the junkyard just behind our beloved town. The scout must not be permitted to return to its base of operations. Cross it off, then report back. Right. If I'm going after this mechanical scout, I could use a couple pointers. Mechanical's got a weak spot in their midsections. I think the technical term is, um, the blue glowy square thing. Right. Uh, got a question for you, maybe? Go on. What exactly do you do here? I'm Ludwig Miller, Associate Security Officer for Transportation. Officially? Unofficially, strictly between you and me, I am the only thing standing between Edgewater and total annihilation. So you're basically the space dog guard. Alright. Uh, wait, are you gonna leave this place and I can loot your, your shit? Okay. Don't bust me, okay? Workbench. Where are you? Parvati? Oh. You're so sneaky. So, more vending machines. Corporate technician. Care for that. So it seems like the companions are not gonna provide me that much of a skill bonus. So my main character skills are gonna be still quite useful. Although there is one disadvantage, clear disadvantage to the style I'm going for, is that by like maxing intelligence and charm, it's very easy to dip into the negative look at this you dip into the negative very easily if I just put one in everything then it would be pretty easy to keep it uh, at least average but now it's it's kinda almost guaranteed that we dip into the negative from time to time I can only fast travel to my ship I think I need to pick up uh, sprinting speed So now we did the thing and we can return to Silas. Not sure if well, we can do that. And we can go that way. So maybe we're gonna see something on the ground, who knows? It's it's not that far away. Sprinting does seem fairly useful. Because yeah, we might be using fast travel a lot more if we we were not on supernova difficulty. But obviously, it's gonna apply right now. Silas! Guess what? Grave digging's a fine profession. Always work to be had, and nary a word of complaint out of your clients. Right. Uh, uh, about the fees you wanted? You run into any trouble? No, it was actually surprisingly easy. And this was an amazing mission. I, I know I'm, I'm just getting a little technical here, but like this is such a simple mission, but it was so good because we get got to know the people and also lead to other missions. Let let the other missions. This is great. Ah, oh, not just some like dumb, low, no effort, radiant quest of like, I don't know, go up to them, tell them you need money, and maybe like press persuade or whatever, and like. They have to give you money or whatever. It was not something super simple. It was pretty well done. Reliable work from a freelancer. That's gonna take some getting used to. 
I went out of my way for you. And I'll buy you a drink sometime. Sometime? How about now? I was hoping for something more tangible. Uh, suppose you've earned it. One good turn deserves another. Oh, uh, should I give up Abernathy? I I lost their fees, but I guess I got some XP. Apparently Silas knows about it, so we can talk about it. Abernathy was sick? With the plague? That's disgusting. I shook hands with the guy. He was convinced you knew. What? No. If I knew he was sick, I would have had him reported. Wow. I needed his fees because of his name. A for Abernathy. He was at the top of my list, you see? Right. Let's talk about something else. Level up! The reputation of the faction has changed. If he, enemies are hostile... Well... Oh, I couldn't read that, but I, I assume it said that they might come to my help. So, we can level up our skills. Although... Oh yeah, this shows my... Right. My maximum value, my permanent value, and my current value. So I can just up the leadership. So the companions are gonna get stronger. So this would help the, the companions quite a bit. So this unlocks two perks. That's quite good. Companion skill bonus to player skills, 100%, which is quite interesting. So, if we have companions, that means their bonus skills count twice, and that's just crazy good. That That's, that's clearly worth it by a lot. Inspired precision, when companion kills an enemy, the part gains critical hit chance plus 20%. So, yeah, that, that seems really good. So, inspiration, going uh, with six, going to 60 with that seems really, really good. Well, this is kind of like a combat skill here. So, this is kind of my combat skill. Like, 25%. It seems like, yeah. Yeah, this is a decent upgrade, I suppose. And also, the companions will less likely to die. But we need to go and uh, have a rest. I'm a little bummed that we uh, betrayed the old man. Can I do some grave digging here? Oh. Unclear. I think we know about one grave, but these graves are really hard to tell apart. Not like they are in order, just like he just digs them wherever. Alright, uh, what else we got? Oh, don't show completed. Oh, the bounties. Do we see those? Apparently we do. So, I know that there's a, a bandit here, a bandit here, and a bandit here. Uh, something to keep in mind, but I think that's one thing we're gonna do later. Retrieve the cache of medicine is over here, so it's just gonna be something that's probably gonna be in the way. Die robot is on the other side of town, kind of. But we also need to head inside for a talk with uh, the big car. Let's do that. And only next level, we're gonna have access to uh, a perk. And which time I'm just gonna pick up sprint speed because it seems like uh, something we're gonna do quite a lot. Oh, 
Heard something outside the walls today. Uh, do my companions uh, top skill points available? Oh yeah, I actually... wait. Oh, I didn't accept it, right? Apply. Yeah, no perks. And Parvati... I'm not sure how this works. Maybe every four level she gains a perk point. Uh, instead of my every oh requires one in previous perks that's pretty interesting so we only choose one this is interesting how it's gonna go four in previous perks huh we would need to know the max level but we'll see How many I need? I need five in previous perks, so we need to pick five of these. Oh, definitely not, not going to be Lone Wolf. Oh, I'm just gonna consider what I'm gonna go for. Companion crit chance might be what we pick because uh, boosting our companion stats is uh, a big part of what we do. Hopefully the companions are good at fighting. Okay, Vicar. I've always felt weird in here. It's too clean. Who are you? Work fortifies the spirit. Right. And then why are you in a temple? Why not why are you not working? OC Lyle? Work fortifies the spirit. Yeah, but... <sighs> okay. Hey there, Mary. Don't see you I, mean, I can't blame these people for chilling, but... <laughs> Whatever. Hey, Vicar. Very fancy place you got here. Very fancy. Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along, Vicar de Soto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison, anything at all. Spiritual counseling? Nah. This season's toss ball predictions? Nah. The quickest way out of town? Maybe. But Raddy wanted to talk to you about what Reed asked us to do. I should just let her talk. I should just signal to her to, like, you know, just, just talk to him. I didn't know I was an outsider. Uh, uh, but what? I just, I just. I thought you would talk, talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked her to do? Fix the geothermal plant? No. Cut off the power to the Adeline's uh, deserters. Maybe I shouldn't have uh, pushed her. She seems like an introvert who might enjoy some company, but uh, for now she's just happy to tag along. And I shouldn't trust her in any, like, you know, leading roles maybe, I don't know. It just seems like, hey, I, I didn't really think much of her, much of it, like, hey, let's just have a chat, whatever. Cut off the power to Adeline's deserters, yep. Yeah. Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. Yeah, that's not really a soft heart. <laughs> I know what you're talking about, but that... Why is that called soft heart? Whatever. He's a good person. Uh, so, what do you advise? Why are you asking... Why are we asking for his advice here? 
I guess um, Miss Holcomb uh, values his uh, input. So, what do you think of Adeline's group, Vicar? They rejected the order of society and live beyond the walls so thoughtfully provided by our Spacer's Choice patrons. Does that strike you as a responsible life choice? Yes. Intelligence depends on how well the leader can provide beyond your walls. Okay, I'm just gonna argue with you. Astute. But I am here, not in the deserter camp. So that's not a variable I can account for. So, what do you advise? Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. Yeah, that doesn't sound great. Is that even possible? Not if things are left to stand as they are. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. Why is that? One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. Just to burn it? Handsome sum, you say? Tell me more. Why not, why not be more specific here? It's a handwritten journal. A faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? Pretty good voice acting, and I also like the... This is a good way to talk to characters. Their, their face is very much up and center, and uh, you see their reactions quite, quite, quite well. And it looks great. It looks great. Truly does. I'll look for your book. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. All right. Well, we're just over now. Can I just talk to you? Yeah. Huh? God damn it! My perception is so low. Is there a way to enhance my perception? Can I just get drunk? Maybe that shouldn't. All right. Do we have some drugs? Time to do some drugs. <laughs> Time to increase our perception. Uh, personality attributes. Ooh, yeah, right? No, oh, maybe. Character summary. So we want mind attributes. Well, no, no, no. Be I also need to get rid of the negative that we're dealing with so much. So many negative points. We would need to get rid of that, then do drugs. <sighs> what a plan. <laughs> Any uh, progress on that matter we discussed? Uh, no. No. Please get it. That's it? Alright. Uh, let's go and maybe find his book. Don't show the com illustrate manual. It's a little odd that I actually need uh, a above average perception just to even start the quest of the companion. I'm not sure where to go ne next. Side quests? Oh, not die robots. Oh. Where's this uh, manual? That way. Maybe we should check out the main quest because I I'm so damn tired. And we need to gain access to the ship. Alright, is this a good place to leave the map? No, 
We have to go that way. Where do I sleep? How do I... Is there a way to uh, fill up my sleep bar without sleeping? It seems like there's no other place to sleep. Yeah, we, we need to do the main quest. I, I don't know. Seems like the the only choice. What is this? Spacer's choice. Get ready. Oh, oh my god, I almost died. Sorry. Um, do I just... I think we need to... Do another one. Maybe in this close range scenario we're just gonna get the shotgun out. Oh, we can hack this. Oh, unlock the second story balcony floor. Just wanted to check up on the new Saltoon Alliance project. I've been brainstorming some new taglines for the product line. I think some of them will be really cat will really catch the, our customers' attention. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to read it a lot right now. So just gonna snoop around a little bit here. Like that. Oh. Oh. Right. Oh, there's some mods. You see the moon? Is that the moon? Kind of looks like the moon, but it's probably—it's just a moon, I guess. I like the moon is so unique looking. Hmm. Is that a Marauder? A uh, Marauder Wandal. Got it. I probably should have taken cover. Got them all. What? You got them all? Really? Well done! Bloody well done! I was messing about with one, and you managed to take out two while I was really struggling to make some progress. Or, or free? She took out free? Oh my god, a assault rifle? Oh, another assault rifle. I'm encumbered. Can I break down parts? Break down the shovel. Spade, break down. So this helps me to keep the weight down a little bit. Assault rifle has 215 DPS, which is pretty sweet. And it uses heavy bullets and it's a long gun okay that's a big upgrade for me we can also uh enhance it possibly with some uh, what is this yeah 
and some mods. Range weapon skills. Ooh, that's pretty good. Armor mod. Okay. So we gotta use the assault rifle as the main weapon now. And uh, actually, maybe not. Because we only have uh, two clips. Well, three clips overall, but two clips extra for it. And if I just keep using it, and we run into a tough fight, like a really tough fight, what will I use? Okay, I, I, I really want to look around and just do everything, but we can't do everything. I need to do the main mission. But if I just jumped over an explosive barrel? You know, keep those in mind for combat. Huh? Oh crap. Oh my god! Out of combat. Oh my god! This is... He's going to die! Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to make sure that you don't die. She's insane. Don't try to melee people. I'm just gonna tell her not to melee people. This is just insane. She's going to die. I got to killed her. I can't believe I killed my own companion. Fuck. Is there a way to get them back up? Oh, I don't know, game. So, I'm not sure if I'm ready to lose Parvati, guys. That was such a dumb way to die. I don't know. Okay. Where are we headed? No, no, no. That's not how we're gonna deal with this. Now, the problem is, is that. I feel like that was a stupid death. And ultimately, the argument can be said that, okay, because you don't know the game and you chose the highest difficulty, which would be super fair. But I feel like she going in, she should use ranged weapons. And also she could have used the heavy weapon that we found. Inventory. Does she need bullets? One for sure, we need to care about the companion's gear a lot. I mostly have crap stuff here. Defense. Yeah, we're gonna go with defensive. Once told to attack a target. Also, I'm not using their abilities. How closely they follow. Moderate is okay. Well, we didn't... Well, we didn't go that far ahead. We basically just went out. Uh, you can reload the auto saves, so that's something. And we can also use the companion skills, which is X and C. I was not doing that. If I lose her, I want to lose her because we fought like hell, and I was prepared as hell, and it was still a lose. You know, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know. Maybe that's just like a... 
cheap. Yeah, I don't know. Because, you know, being incompetent is also a legit excuse to die. That's how that's how a lot of people die. But still, I don't want to lose my companion the first chance I get because I suck at the game. So, let's just give me like a like a one chance, maybe two chances, we'll see. It'd be decent. So this way she's not attacking. Everyone all right? Okay, this doesn't doesn't work. Uh, again, took a lot of damage. Let's talk to you. No, no, not not talk. I feel like I need to do some experiments to find out your AI, how it works. So Parvati should probably stay on aggressive. Ranged aggressive and stay fucking close to me, okay? Don't, don't just run in. Like, you might be. I think is she using melee weapons when they get close? That's acceptable. But she using melee weapons as a way to run in? That's insane. She's apparently pretty tanky. So that's cool. Taste of freedom. So I can sell to the vending machines. But it's not particularly interesting. And oh, I don't really care to do that right now, so. Oh, I can check the messages, but it doesn't matter. Already kind of did that. <laughs> Technically, she survived the dumb fight. But I killed her because I don't know. <laughs> God damn it. And I tried so hard to save her in the fight. Also, I probably should never use the revolver. That's just the worst pistol. I might use the shotgun. One for sure. Uh. We need to take fighting them seriously. Impact hammer is better than the stupid sword. So maybe I'm gonna go like that. The problem with the shotgun is that it's only good up close. It's basically a melee weapon. That's kind of hard to hit with. Also, we got access to a lot of mods. And these mods can be used to enhance our power. A lot of times that I... <clears throat> wow. A lot of times I just ignore these things. But in this scenario, it might be sensible to just find a workbench and actually apply it. Because the game is hard and I like it. But also I don't want to lose the companion that i just starting to get to know. Still, the penalty for losing her was definitely harsher. I just like, oh... Okay, 10 seconds later, you're back. Well, technically she's back, but we have to. Okay, also I'm kind of suck at uh, spotting these marauders. So, she's close to me. We're good. Let's go! They cover. Do like the marauders, they take cover. Why the fuck you're not taking cover? Oh yeah. I need to tell her what where to go. Alright. We did it! Oh yeah, this is great. Okay, you were a little dumb. Actually I was dumb, right? I didn't take tell her to take cover. Gotcha. So before the fight, I gotta tell her where to go. And she needs to stay there. And actually, if, yeah, huh? if we play it like that, it's possible that the mix fighting style is better. That she usually has. I just I just need to get used to. Yeah, mixed is fine as long as she stays put. When I tell her to. 
Okay, I also gotta look into the controls. Key bindings. And apparently the companion skills are like X and C. Companion attack is X. Okay. And special kill skill is, is C. So with that, we actually can use uh, the defensive style. I'm just checking the wrong tank. So if I go with the defensive style, I can tell her when to attack. Mixed is fine. But that might make her leave cover. Uh, we just have to see. But in order to truly experiment with that, I don't have save and load here. So I need to try it in a real fight. And the next real fight coming up is actually a stupidly hard fight. That at least justifies me giving her the assault rifle. And she has an impact hammer. That's a better impact hammer. Okay, what else we got? We gotta watch out that we don't run into marauders. Hmm. We can go that way as well. But, no. I need to sleep. We suffer heavy penalties because we don't sleep. Damn. I can also drink something if if we have uh, water, maybe. That would be great. Some water. Okay. Algae Lager. Personal attributes. Fine, whatever. Maybe this helps. Use. We just need to pick a fight here that's not completely hopeless. Where are the enemies? Last time we were here, enemies were here as well. No? There are some enemies there for sure. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Sure. Go there. An Emerald Vale Community Center. Just stay back. She just teleported there? What the fuck? I really shouldn't leave cover. In a futile effort to cover her. We win this fight, but it's gonna be a tough one. Everyone alright? I don't know, man. Okay, I'm popping the healing things. I need all of this. Her health is going up, but not enough. Wow. This game is pretty damn hard. I love it. You're alive! Woo! <laughs> okay. So, the abilities get activated instantly, even if they are melee. So she just jumped in. That was kind of crazy. I'm not sure how I feel about the aggressive versus the defensive stance. I feel like the, the aggressive stance might be okay. If I... Yeah. If I use it with Hang the whole out. position. Yep, be right over. Uh, just get rid of the way. whole position. Okay, it's 
It's fine now. Anyway, guys, uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.